Let's talk about Pareto charts. All right, a Pareto chart is the same as a bar chart. So we have a y-axis and an x-axis, and our frequencies here are one, two, three, and four, like we had before. In this case, though, they go in the order of the most common. So if I wanted to know the most common, I would say, look, my most common grade is a B, then an A, then a C, and then Ds and Fs are tied. And so I would just have a graph then a table that looks like this, four Bs, three As, two Cs, one D, and one F, okay? So all I have done is sort these so that they go in a decreasing order. And that's the only difference between a bar chart and a Pareto chart. The bar chart that is organized from largest to smallest is a Pareto chart. All right, so we're going to make a Pareto chart. And here I have already typed out the data that we had in R. And in order to create a Pareto chart, I need to create a table, or I need to calculate out, sorry, the frequencies of each of the items in our grades, um, in our data set here. I'm going to call this, give this a separate name, and then type it out here again to get the output. So I've highlighted all of that. I'm going to hold down Command and hit Return. On my Mac computer, if you're on a Windows, you hold down Control and hit R. But you can see here, I have inputted the data. Here I have calculated the frequencies, which I have called tab, short for table. And when I type table, it shows me that I have three A's, four B's, two C's, one D, and one F. Okay. Now, if I, over here, wanted to create just a bar plot, I would do that. And that would create a bar plot where everything would be in or the order that it was supplied in, right, alphabetical order in this case, A, B, C, D, and F. I want to do something a little bit different here, though. I want to sort these data to create a Pareto chart so that they are going from largest to smallest. And I'm going to add a color in here just because I'm, I get tired of gray pretty easily. Okay, now you see that it has sorted it from smallest to largest, right? So the default is smallest to largest. But if I go back here inside the sort command, so here's the sort command and here are the parentheses associated with it. If I go in there and set decreasing to false, so the default is to set decreasing to true. I did that backwards, isn't it? The default is to set decreasing to false. In other words, it's increasing. So if I set that to true, it will now go in decreasing order. And when I run that over, I have a Pareto chart that shows that most students had Bs, followed by students who had As, followed by students who had Cs, and then we had ties for students that had B and D. So that is the simple way to create a Pareto chart.